Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back. If it's your first time here, welcome. I hope everybody's having a good Friday. So I have a jewelry haul. I have 10 to 15 pieces of jewelry here. Um, I'm not going to pre-sew out of this jewelry haul like I typically do. Um, I will be live tomorrow with these items as well as other items. I will be on tomorrow, December the 16th at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. And I will offer these pieces. I'm waiting for more to come through the mail. And I'm going to go out to one store today and one tomorrow. But anyways, um, let me get started showing what I have. This is a very beautiful um, Art Deco check glass necklace. It's... Uh, brass strung on a brass chain link uh, the glass is hand cut and it has beautiful um, brass caps it's in good shape it has normal um, you know coloring that would occur from being in oxygen on this but the intergraduated in size when you get down as you can see like the pieces get bigger um well somewhat they're different yeah they do get bigger till you get down to the bottom as a tassel it's 30 inches around the neck and a total drop of 19 and a half i know that because i just measured it and i had to redo my video <laughs> something happened to it anyways beautiful um i call it citrine glass um i see it people calling i guess amber glass on this but i think it looks more like citrine glass don't you think it's a beautiful yellow and it is glass let me let me zap it just to make sure because yeah it's glass i i'll test it just to make sure because i've had weirder things happen to me um it looks like glass looks beautiful and this is very vintage uh to antique on this and it is a natural it's all real um pieces original pieces strung on um on the necklace i guess you could say it's strung um strung on chain quite beautiful look at the caps it's beautiful oh. anyways i'll have that tomorrow beautiful um art deco check glass necklace I have another check glass. I'll show that in a minute. This is nice, too. This is, um, I just want to test this the glass. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely glass. Okay, just wanted to make sure. I think it's quite beautiful. This is amber. This is unmarked as far as I could see. I'm going to look on the inside better. But it is um, butterscotch, um, cognac, honey, and the typical color you expect to see. I think we even have green up here, possibly. Does that look green? But it's a nice pendant. This is a three and a half inch drop. It has some articulation, a decent sized bail. This is a 925 Italy snake chain. It's pretty nice. Yeah, I'll sew it on that. I may clean this up with some, um, with some baking soda and a cloth or maybe just a cloth. We'll see how it cleans. I'll probably soak this in a little bit of um, warm water with a little bit of Dawn just to clean it up a little bit. I don't use anything too harsh. I'm afraid of destroying the jewelry, um, and I wouldn't want to break it. I mean, that's an old necklace. It's nearly 100 years old. Okay, or possibly 100. But this one, I don't know how old this is. There's the bail. Beautiful amber. I think the top one might be green. Cognac. Or that kind of looks cherry. To look at it closer, it kind of looks like cherry amber butterscotch, honey, I don't know, three to four, three to four different types of amber, okay, and it's nice, it's a nice, uh, nice pendant, I'll have that, I have, these are uranium glass and crystal or glass on the sides, uh, they go up a little, say crystal on these pieces, or glass, it doesn't matter really, does it, these are a pair of clip earrings, they are, um, I'm in bright light. These are uranium casing. These are brass on the clips. Um, they they were in a lot. I thought they were cool. This is the other check glass, hand cut glass. It has an old chain on it. It's and on these rings, I believe it says check as well. Checklist, uh, you know, signs C Z E C H or something is written on these. I'll test it. I don't think it's gold or anything, but I I don't know just to make sure. It has an older chain clasp on it that's a little bow and this is cool this is four and a half inches this is signed made in Czechoslovakia 
hand cut glass. Look at that big thing there. It's cool. Brass findings. I don't know if the chains are original or not, but I do believe it says check on it. But um, the pendant's pretty cool, don't you think? I thought it was. Okay, there's that. I have a couple rings. Um, this is, and I believe in an egg yolk amber. It's definitely an amber. It, it glows nicely, and, and it's the feel and the look. But um, I don't know exactly how old it is. Something I have to look at. It is actually has etchings of, I can't tell. Let me look here. Look at this one. Look how pretty that is. Test as a stone. Looks like a fire, some kind of fire stone. Um, I don't know, like flowers or whatever. And then around the top, you have this fancy, looks like the top of a castle. Okay, so this is like an eight and a half. I don't know my ring size are here. An eight to an eight and a half. And that's amber. I don't see any markings on it, okay? This one's pretty. This is like a five and three quarters. Possibly a six if I'm swelled up. Um, I'll have to see. Marcus Sites. I don't know what it's signed underneath here either. Um, it's hard to see. Um, I'm not sure. It, it, it tests as a silver, though. I did, I did scratch. I'll scratch it again. Look how pretty that is. And that's testing a stone. Like, up a little bit. It's not up too high, but definitely out of the glass range. It's up in, like, the emerald area. I know it's not emerald. I'm not saying that. I, I'm just saying the area of the gem tester that it's in. It's quite beautiful. Marcusite sterling. It's open in the back. The stone needs cleaned. I can see some dirt on it. This could be a five, and I don't wear a five any longer. I'm saying that is because you have some meat room, as I, some area in the bottom that your finger could go in. I'm not sure I'll measure it before I sell it, of course. I'll have it tomorrow. It's pretty. I think I mentioned I'll be on at 2 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow, right? I believe so. These are amber. Um, three. Uh, I think that that's a uh, green amber. We have the butterscotch, and this is like a regular, you know, color that you typically see Baltic amber, which I think a lot of it comes from Baltic. I, I see. I do realize that. Okay, but they're sterling and amber, and these are like a half of a hoop. Okay, they're about an inch. They're pretty. That's, that's all I could say about that. This is beautiful. I, um, it's a paper clip chain, um, looks gilt with gold or pinchback. I see a lot of copper in it. Um, and it's looking at it, you can see, um, a lot of copper coloring in it. Do you know what I mean? Um, fully pronged. And this is an amber glass, beautiful pin. It's like four and a half inches, I believe, or four. It's pretty long. It's nice, actually. There's the back. Um, I don't know if that's original to this pin or not. I, I don't know. I, I need to look at it. I'm not sure of the actual dating on it, on the pin. Okay. It definitely looks vintage. But I think it's really beautiful. That's why I got it. Oh. thought it was nice. Okay. So there's that. Um that pin as well. I don't have a whole lot more. Like I said, I have more coming in the mail and I'm going to go out. Um, these are Lisner and these are glass cameo earrings signed Lisner in the back. They're clips. They're pretty. They're vintage, pretty mid-century on those. So, um, this is satin glass and crystal spring ring clasp. I thought it was pretty. It looks hand cut. that satin glass necklace and the long lucite came in the same lot looks like glass but is not it's lucite it's a nice necklace like 30 inches probably then this one has a beautiful um art glass bead on it looks like um in crystal this is clearly crystal it's not uranium i can tell just by the look of that green that it's crystal and could be a hand string. Who knows? It's still beautiful, right? I, I don't go big on saying it's not a hand strung piece. Um, Everything is hand strung by some of you, whether they're a known name or not, right? Um, I think it's pretty beautiful. And then this is all plastic. It would be twisted up. I mean, it's it's uh, it came in a lot with some of the other ones. But there it is. You have faux pearls 
and you know it's it's a uh, faux. It's plastic, I mean. Then I have these earrings. I have a pair of moon glow earrings that are vintage and look like they say something on that brass backing. I can't identify what it says, but I'll I'll see moon glow vintage um screw backs. Those are older. And then I have, these are um, the screw back, like flip ones. These are a mall based style faux pearls, okay? Like button pearls, they are faux. These are plastic, these are clips. They were in the lot with all the pink stuff, so here they are. Okay, um, then I have this is, these are beautiful. These are a rusty um, orange uh, pearl. Uh, I'm gonna say freshwater. Uh, natural, they're real pearls, freshwater cultured. But there's that. That's it. So that's all I have for now. I'm going out today to a store. Like I said, me and Eve, I have to run out and get some things. She needs some winter stuff. And and I'm going to go to at least one thrift store, maybe two, if I can tolerate it. The pain's pretty extreme in my foot, but I'm allowed to walk on a boot. And if I can do it without crutches, he said, go ahead. If I need the crutches, use them. You know, when I'm at home, I'm not using them. When I'm out, I have to. So I'm going to one store today, and I will venture out tomorrow morning, probably to the Thrift Teak, and go there. And I will be on at 2 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow, here, Saturday, December the 16th. Please join me. I'll have, I have another two lots coming in, and I am going to sell some of the jewelry I have here as well um, that I've had for a while of my own and I'm going to go through some things that I haven't shown in a while. So I intend on having a decent amount of jewelry. I'll be on two to three hours tomorrow. Join me. Join me to say hello um, and offer some moral support. <laughs> uh, you know, some friendship or if you're interested in buying as well, come, of course. And I will see you all tomorrow. Thank you. Have a beautiful day. It's rather lovely here in Pittsburgh, PA. It's pretty sunny. And it's not bad. It's almost 50. I'm going to go get ready to go pick my little chick up from school. And we're going to spend uh, some time together. All right. Love you all. Thank you.